All right, now to give us more insights into this, we're being joined by Ms. Jennifer Zheng. And Ms. Zheng is, in fact, a member of the International Press Association and is also the host of Inconvenient Truths by Jennifer Zheng. And she's joining us on this broadcast. Now, Ms. Zheng, this, this is an interesting bit of information that has come in. Now, how do we know that this is a mystery illness that's separate from the mystery illness that we've been talking about and then that has been making headlines globally since at least the month of November. Is this something separate or is it related to those same infections that we've been talking about since last month? I think at this, this stage it is hard to know because the Chinese authorities, as you mentioned earlier, uh, they, they tend to... Um, cover up the truth or not talk about it. So from the official released news, they are talking about multiple different viruses. They list uh, uh, several kinds, seven or six, or, or I think sometimes they even talk about uh, more than 10 different kinds of viruses. Of course, they list the COVID-19 uh, sometimes as and then as the number one virus to be a guard against. But anyway, they claim there wasn't any new uh, variant uh, going on. But if you look at what they are doing now, uh, number one, they have emergently uh, uh, gave permission to five uh, new uh, vaccines that is especially designed for the XBB variant and two they are pushing for people to get vaccinated and the three they are conducting large scale of right. uh, emergency drill about vaccine related incident so it gave people a feeling that this could be still something that's related to covid mm -hmm. and also there could be some problem or a vaccine related incident that's why they are conducting large scale drills to deal with this emergency incident in many different cities i right. shared a tv report from chengdu city on the, the way where the drill happened on november 17th right now you know the obvious question is 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 this an infection that's affecting only children because the last time around it was said that that's that's some kind of a pneumonia or a similar kind of a respiratory infection that was predominantly affecting children this time around is it again similarly the case that only children seem to be more prone to getting infected with this new virus if that is what it is i think when the when the outbreak first started actually it's not in october it's in september it's already started in the northern uh, city called shenyang uh, when and then it spread to beijing tianjin and shanghai in uh, october november and the first uh, stage or initial stage of this wave of, of outbreak yes the majority of the infected were children but there were also reports that adults and elderly people are, are getting sick too especially recently the days of a very famous hong kong actress who moved to china of course caused wide uh, spread attention because she was act was acted as the ambassador to promotion vaccination and she right. got four doses of vaccination so it seems I actually I listed uh, a, a number of other cases of adults that in their 50s suddenly die or claim to die of sudden heart attack. But that is far away, I think, more, much more than what we see in the usual uh, days or normal years. All right. Thank you very much indeed, Mrs. Yang, for joining us and getting us those details there. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.